Slumberland is based on the classic Winsor McKay comic strip series Little Nemo in Slumberland, which centers on an 11-year-old girl named Nemo, who one night learns it's possible to travel through dreams. Nemo travels with the eccentric horned man Flip to the perilous Nightmare Sea, where they discover the key to fulfilling any wish. Nemo has a map that can lead him through other people's dreams. On paper, that sounds like a really good idea because Slumberland gives countless options for bizarre settings and characters. Unfortunately, during the entirety of the film, only a small number of dreams are presented, and some of those aren't even fantastical, rather, they resemble real-world settings. Let's work together to sort out what is happening in Slumberland and the waking world, as you could have felt confused while watching the movie. Together with her devoted father, Peter, who works at the lighthouse, Nemo lives in peace on an island. When Nemo has problems falling asleep, Peter entertains her with fantastical tales of adventures. They enjoy a wonderful relationship and a life together that is full of love, tales of adventures, and life lessons. Peter is called away from his duty to help a ship in peril one terrible night when a storm hits the island in the neighboring waters. The following morning, Nemo awakens from a nightmare in which he witnesses her father drowning and being captured by a huge creature that resembles a squid. Nemo learns of her father's passing from Carla, a co-worker on the mainland. He had made plans for his brother Philip to care for his daughter before he passed away. Nemo's relocation to the large city is managed by Carla, who also plans the burial. Nemo, who is heartbroken and distraught, struggles to digest the news and partially disconnects. Her bed sprouts legs and her stuffed animal comes to life, transporting her back to the island she left behind after relocating to a new city with a new school. She discovers a strange-looking man rummaging through her father's possessions at her house. She finds out that this is Flip, the made-up character who accompanied her father in all of his bedtime tales. She comes to the realization that she is actually breathing in the kingdom of dreams and in slumberland. Flip is searching for a map that would lead him to the wish-granting pearls, considered to be Slumberland's greatest treasure. Nemo embarks on a quest to find the priceless pearls treasure, with the assistance of the endearing and hilarious outlaw Flip. The pearls treasure can grant any wish. They agree to stay out of each other's way in exchange for getting what they both want. Flip has been trapped in the dream world for far too long, so he has forgotten who he really is. While Nemo longs to reunite with her father and wants the pearls to grant her wish, he wants the pearls to awaken once more and experience life. In the land of dreams, everything is conceivable. Nemo witnesses everything on her once-in-a-lifetime excursion, from a child driving a massive truck to a man flying high on a goose. They learn the real significance of dreams that represent suppressed desires, anxieties, and the experiences in people's lives that shape who they are. However, not every dream in slumberland is delightful. Flip is being pursued by Agent Green of the BOSA, Bureau of Subconscious Activities, who has been after him for more than 30 years, since he is one of the country's most wanted offenders. The squid-like monster she saw in her nightmare the night her father passed away is now stalking Nemo. And that squid has the power to end their lives in the dreams of other people, after which they will be unable to rouse themselves. As a result, they pursue their objective as a monster follows them, intensifying the thrill of the trip. Finding the priceless pearls that will fulfill their deepest aspirations is the starting point of Flip and Nemo's trip. The pearls will enable them to obtain what they each seek for themselves. But they face challenges along the way, including the Bosa agent and the Nightmare Squid. When Agent Green finds Flip and Nemo, she arrests Flip and brings Nemo to her office to speak with her. She then informs the woman that pearls are a fiction and do not actually exist. She also persuades Nemo to concentrate on the waking world because that is where life occurs, and it won't wait for her to catch up. Many people, like Flip, become so disoriented in slumberland that they lose their ability to wake up or operate in the outside world. They permanently lose themselves and become trapped in the imaginary world. When Nemo awakens, she decides she will abide by the outlaw code and not abandon her companion. She retraces her steps to Bosa and uses the lock-picking technique Philip taught her to free Flip from jail. Flip then informs Nemo that the pearls are real, since her father actually saw them at the end of the maelstrom in the Sea of Nightmares, proving that they are not a myth. Flip, who would never lie, made the decision to go on this journey and find the pearls for his friend because of this. Flip and Nemo argue as they approach the last door, and Nemo is then roused by her teacher at school. She returns to Slumberland in an unwavering effort to find the precious pearls. Pig is sent in to fetch the pearls for Nemo, while she is all by herself at the bottom of the whirlpool. 
She is frantically trying to raise Pig with the Nightmare Squid behind her when Flip suddenly appears in a plane and knocks the Nightmare Squid unconscious. They manage to escape the sea of nightmares and make the decision to return to Nemo's safe haven the lighthouse. Flip is eventually caught by Nightmare Squid in one of its arms. Nemo accepts a pearl from Pig and makes a wish for Flip to awaken. In doing so, he escapes from the dream world and awakens in the waking one, escaping the Nightmare Squid. The fact that the pearls fulfilled Nemo's wish demonstrates that they are real. She made the decision to defend Flip in the same way that he did when he saved her from the Sea of Nightmares, which ultimately strengthened their bond. Like any good adventure film, Slumberland features a storyline twist that involves a display of bravery. When Agent Green first encounters Nemo, she advises her to squeeze her great pig. Nemo finds out that Pig stole two pearls from the sea at this point, allowing her to have one more wish granted. As you could expect, she requested some time with her father in their warm house. Nemo gets to spend some quality time with her father once more and fills him in on her journey over slumberland. We observe them conversing, dancing, and enjoying music before eventually sitting down to discuss. Peter explains to her why he does not want his daughter to live alone in a home like he does. In the waking world, he also wants Nemo to have a fulfilling voyage and to discover the mysteries of life. Nemo then admits that she is afraid of living alone and experiencing life alone. Peter assures her that the waking world will be a breeze for her if she can successfully navigate the sea of nightmares on her own. This affirmation was all Nemo required to get back on her feet and confidently confront the outside world. Flip is seen in slumberland to be confused and perplexed about who he is and why he is unable to wake up. As the narrative develops, we learn that Flip is, in fact, Nemo's uncle Philip. When Peter and Philip were little, they enjoyed making up adventure tales and dressing up. They used to spend every minute of every day together because they were such close siblings. Peter loved to make up stories on the spot and had a vivid imagination. When he was younger, Philip struggled to make friends since he was timid and an introvert. Philip was left alone after Peter moved in with Nemo's mother after falling in love with her. He pleaded with Peter to remain and be at his side, but he departed with his love to embark on an adventure. Flip was left imprisoned in the dream realm when Philip stopped daydreaming and going on adventures. Philip used to roam across dreams by taking on the persona of Flip. Nemo uses one of her pearls to awaken Flip and reunite him with Philip when the Nightmare Squid captures him. This protects Flip from the monster and provides Philip the courage to bravely save Nemo from drowning in the waking world. Flip awakens inside Philip once more, merging with him and the two of them in many different ways. Philip's vulnerability and innocence combined with Flip's courage and conviction make them outstanding in the real world. Every type of dream is personified in the kingdom of dreams, from wonderful dreams brought on by memories to undesirable ones like anxieties and nightmares. The Nightmare Squid or Smoky Squid Monster symbolizes the ingrained anxieties and feelings that Nemo ignored. The effects of her father's passing and her apprehension about facing the world alone were the components of her nightmare. It is used if Nemo is afraid of anything or has self-doubt. 